To get from Narita Airport to Tokyo and back, there are three options, taxi, bus, and train. In the end, you have to weigh out cost, duration, time of day, and stressors that come with novelty. What is the point of saving a lot of money if you are completely overwhelmed? In this video, I'm going to be sharing why taking the bus from Narita Airport to Tokyo and back was perfect for us as first-time travelers to Japan. Everyone has different preferences, but for us, we wanted to take it easy as we had a lot of luggage. Before talking about transportation, let's first talk about what to do with your luggage. Now, the last thing you want to do when you're in Tokyo is have to like bring all your big suitcases through the trains, and especially if you haven't even traveled there before, you can also call your hotel in advance and see if they have any baggage delivery services and see if they have any same day services. I know that they have them because people do it all the time, but it just depends on how much money you want to spend. What you could do to decrease stress is go to the baggage delivery service, and that's going to be in every airport. For us, we arrived at the airport pretty late, so when we got there, she said we wouldn't get our luggage until the day after tomorrow, and I didn't want to repack my bags, so we said, you know what, that's okay, we're just going to keep our bags with us. And I'm going to tell you the next step that we did. Before coming to Tokyo, we actually did some research on some of the buses, and for me, I don't like taking all my luggage and bringing them into the trains, and I wasn't familiar with any of the train stations or like where to go and like bringing everything within it being so crowded so what we did was we decided to take the bus and the bus actually let us bring all of our luggage for free if you've never traveled to Tokyo before and you're not familiar with how the rail systems work then I highly suggest that you just pay for the bus it's not very expensive their subways and rail systems are amazing when you don't have a lot of bags so I highly suggest you take the bus do not take a taxi. For us to get to Narito to Tokyo, it would have been over $160. No thank you. Our bus tickets were around $24 each, and it was so worth it because we didn't have to pay for extra baggage delivery to our hotel. If you are someone that travels really well and you know how to use the rail systems in Tokyo and you only have a backpack and maybe a carry-on bag, then totally just go for it. But for us, having all these bags, we don't speak Japanese, we are tired, you know, after flying for so many hours, we were so happy we took the bus and 1000% would do it again. For the bus tickets, what you do is walk up to the bus ticket lines. The people are really nice and they speak English. And what they're gonna do is give you a ticket to the nearest train station by your hotel. From there, you're gonna go stand in line by the bus and the nice people are gonna give you a little little strap voucher thing and they're going to give it to you so you know which luggage is yours so you can store all your luggage underneath the bus while we waited for the bus we found some food and it was so good after traveling also every information booth in japan is so helpful and the people there are so nice for us we are staying in shinjuku so once our bus dropped us off at the shinjuku station we just took all of our luggage and walked to our hotel also around the train stations you're going to see that there's people walking to their hotel all the time with their luggage so don't be nervous if you're walking the street with all these large bags. Here are some reasons why airport limousine might be a good option for you if you are a first time traveler to Tokyo. One, you have multiple articles of luggage. Two, it is low stress with pickup and drop off. The bus stop is literally right where you buy the tickets. They pick you up and drop you off above ground so you aren't trying to find your way around crowded train stations or deal with your tickets at the passenger gate. Three, luggage stays with you and is included in your fare, which means multiple bags are not an issue. You also don't need to worry about baggage delivery or carry it with you on the train. If you like what you see so far and like the various tips and attention to detail, here at Build Your Moxie, I'm actually a finance channel where I take harder topics and break them down into simple ideas. Imagine having financial freedom and being able to take multiple trips to Japan without having to worry about the stresses of money. That's basically what I cover in Build Your Moxie. If you are wanting to create a life where you can do a lot of things that you enjoy, then click that subscribe button. I would love to have you be part of the family. Four, it is super comfortable. Seats are cushioned, reclining, and very clean. There's a USB port if you want to charge your phone. There's also a bathroom at the back of the bus, and there's air conditioning. Five, it is very affordable. If you don't have an activated JR pass to get the Narita Express for free, this is a great option as the cost is about the same as an express train ticket. Six, for those of you who are wondering how to know when to get off the bus, the bus voice talks in Japanese and then in English right after so you know when to get off. This is similar to the trains. 7. Some airport limousines stop off at big hotels if you are already staying there. Look at the website linked in my description below and then you can take a look. We bought our tickets from a person at the booth because it was super easy. 8. We also loved airport limousine because you could talk to a person when you buy your tickets. We bought ours in Shinjuku as well as the Narita Airport. If you found these tips helpful, you might like this next video which I'll link right here.